coming here, you know, I wasn't a, you know, I had zero stars. Just saw some tall, skinny kid, um, you know, who had a red shirt when he first got here. Uh, you know, went through a lot of ups and downs with everything and, you know, just fought through it. Jalen McDaniels from deep. There is the record rebound for Nico Carvacho, who's just become the all-time rebounding leader in the history of Colorado State. You know, you break the CSU record in, you know, less than three years. And, uh, you know, you get the ball from the person you broke it from. Uh, you know, I think that's really special. It's so impressive. He's, you know, two-thirds of the way through his junior season. We have all next year to talk about the record just absolutely being shattered. And you talk about a guy who's going to put up a number that might be unreachable. And what's amazing is that Carvacho, he's done all of this. He's leading the nation in rebounding, and he's doing it all with a torn labrum. And that is why you see him out there with the tape on his shoulder. The tape, honestly, was kind of one of those things that, I don't know, kind of made it feel like still like compact. I had a feeling on it because when I didn't have anything on it, it kind of felt like I didn't have a shoulder. Um, it felt like it was like a dead feeling. It's kind of hard to explain, but like it just feels like, um, you know, after 10 shots in a row, it was just like, just done. I couldn't, you know, raise it anymore. You know, it was one of those things that like I could play through it and, you know, go through the whole season. In some cases, they can participate through an injury. Um, there are some times where student athletes are not allowed to participate with an injury based on the nature of it um, and really what the long-term outcome is. In this particular case, Nico was given that information and it was something that uh, uh, the medical staff felt like it was something if he could participate at a high level um, and, and it was tolerable that it was reasonable for him to do and that's what he chose to do. After the season, you know, you get surgery, find out in the surgery that also uh, my, rotator my rotator cuff was torn also, so I had to get both of those fixed. Surgically, it ended up to be a little more extensive uh, than I think what the initial thought was. So for him to accomplish what he did uh, with, with the injury that he has was really impressive. You know, it was a little nerve wracking. You know, I, I never really had a surgery. I've never really been injured. I have never played, not played a sport for five, six months like I did. And, you know, having to go through all the rehab and, and doing all that, you know, it kind of, you know, messed me up a little bit. I think the biggest challenge with, with any long-term rehab, um, post-surgical rehab, is, is it's such a grind. It's, it's a process. And, and to stay focused and engaged day to day is really challenging. And really what Nico did a great job of is, is controlling what he could control. Um, you know, he showed up with a positive attitude. He brought it every day uh, with the energy that you'd expect of a high-level athlete and someone who's driven to be successful. The most difficult part of doing rehab was the middle part. It was staying on it every single day. You're not going to go from here to here in one day, you know. It was, it was those small, every single day, grind it out to get here. <laughs> The first couple months while I was in the sling was kind of tough because I would do the same exercises for a whole month, five times a day. I wasn't able to lift arms for the first four or five months. So I was just in there doing straight legs, you know, no one, no one wants to go in there and just do straight legs the whole day. But <laughs> it was, I was on my own schedule, you know, I was away from them. But you know, you gotta try to stay integrated and you know, get to know all the guys because there was eight new guys, especially this summer. So I just had to try to you know get to know them and stay with them. So when I got the sling off, it was kind of one of those things like, all right, you know, I'm starting to get back in that feeling of I'm able to run now, you know, able to start working on my, you know, start doing some form shooting. I remember they came up to me and they were just talking about how, uh, you know, it's gonna be a process. I'm not gonna be able to go out there and start jacking up threes and doing all that. You know, I had to start in close, start form shooting. Uh, you know, the first couple of weeks without a ball, and then they gave me a limited number of shots too. So I wasn't going. You know, I was out there for 20 minutes or 150 shots, kind of one of those things. So you know, that was a little rough too, because you know, just when to get out there, and you have the opportunity to get out there, you want to go full go. But uh, some days, you know, you're not making anything. You know, sometimes you can barely get the ball to the rim because you know you're still sore and you know still weak. So you know, that was definitely a tough thing, and just going in there every single day and just trying to you know get better. We started practicing in September when I came back and we were, you know, going through the conditioning and I was, you know, back into doing rehab and, you know, doing all that. But, you know, a couple times in practice when you go up and, you know, you get a rebound and you get yanked on it and nothing happened, I think that's when I finally felt that, you know, it was getting back to 100% and I wasn't thinking about it. 
the first couple games was a little tough. You know, you like 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 I said, you know, you come back, you know, average whatever, 16 and 13, lead the nation in rebounding. You know, you're A, B, and C on scouting reports. So it was one of those things that you know you wanted to show everybody that you could still you still got it. been trying to play for the team and you know it's been paying off you know like I said wins are way more important than anything else and that's what you know I had to figure out and you know last season was great so it's kind of like you know you want to get back to that but like I said you can't just go get 13 rebounds in one shot so you know like lately I've been you know it's like one shot at a time do this uh, one shot be aggressive uh, you know and just kind of just stay focused and, and just you know be at peace with the game you know and stop overthinking everything and just have fun. After season, when I'm done playing, you're just looking at it and you, you basically hold every single rebound record for CSU in Mount West history. You know, it's one of those things that, like, I understand it now and it, it's cool, you know, but I think after season, it's going to be one of those things like, hey, man, you actually did some, you actually did it, you know, so, uh, so that's my goal right now is to stay focused on the season and continue to work hard and worry about all that stuff after season. You know, there's a lot of emotion around senior day. You know, there really is. And can, when they leave here today, they've left this program and this place in a heck of a lot better shape uh, than when they got here. And boy, isn't that what we all want to do? Coach Mehve, Coach Ali, Coach JR, Coach Thor, Aaron, Joe, CJ, all of them, you know, those are great people. Um, you know, they really have your back and they really show that, you know, they take pride. You know, you can kind of tell, like, they want to know who you are, build a relationship, they love you. And I think that just, that just trickles down to who they recruit and the players they have in the locker room. You know, there's a great group of guys in there. But, uh, you know, I take a lot of pride in just being able to push the young guys. Uh, you know, like, those are like, kind of like my sons, I call them. But, like, really, those are my little brothers. You know, I take a lot of pride. I love all of them. Um, and I'm just so proud of everything they're doing. I just want to continue to push it so, you know, years to come, you know, they can actually build something remarkable. I want to be able to be one of those people that, you know, were the cornerstone of it, you know, helped start it all and uh, you know that's the reason why I stayed and you know to leave that legacy.